Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these 3D pop-up words. This is really easy, and when I was teaching high school, I had my students make their names doing this, and it was a really uh, cool practice. It's also a good way to learn how to make a pop-up, and you can use whatever paper you want. If you do choose to use um, computer paper, it just doesn't stay up quite as easily. <laughs> this one's been worked around, but as you can see, it doesn't stay up quite as well. So that is what that looks like. Um, I think that, what is this stuff called? Not construction paper, um, not cardboard paper, cardstock, <laughs> cardboard paper. If you have cardstock, it works really, really well. So, um, but you can definitely make it out of printer paper. It still is cool and you can make it pop up and it, it's cool. So anyway, these are the supplies that you need. You need paper to make it out of. I'm just gonna make it out of I'll make it out of this yellow paper just so you can see um, my lines a little bit better when I'm drawing them. And you need a ruler. This is really important because it's how we measure out the space. And then you need something to cut with. This is important. This is sharp. If you're going to be using one of these, which I definitely recommend, um, it's very helpful for cutting out shapes like this and this, then um, make sure you use a cutting board or a piece of cardboard, something that to protect the surface that you're um, that this is under, or the surface that's under all of this. And you need a pencil. And that's about it. If you want to use two pieces of paper, you might want a glue stick. Yuck, this is a bunch of glue sticking out of it. Um, ideas for words you could use. You could write somebody's name. You could um, write thank you, make a thank you card, stuff like that. But before we start, I want to show you how to make a really simple step fold. And this is what we're going to be using for this project. So that's why I wanted to do it first. So I'm just gonna cut into this paper and I'm gonna show you what a step fold is and a reverse fold. Step fold is what I call it. I don't know the real name. All right, so now we have this cutout piece. Now we wanna reverse it. So instead of folding it back, I wanna fold it forward along that same line. And then on the bottom, we want to fold it forward instead of back. So I'm just kind of pushing it forward and rubbing along there so that it stays. And that's it. That is a step fold. So we are going to be doing this with our letters. So we want to make sure we don't put this fold though all the way across them. So look, this is basically a step, right? This is the one up and the one back. The only thing is we have a little bit more distance in here and we don't want to fold it. So just make sure you don't fold it there. And that's great. Okay, that's it. So that's step fold. Let's get started. I feel like that took way too long. Grab your ruler and we are going to make four lines coming up from the bottom of our paper. So one, I'm gonna be drawing these dark, but I would draw them really lightly. So you don't wanna see them on all of your letters. Two, yuck. Ah! Three, whoop. and four. I would make your, let's see, which line is it? I would make this second line really light because you do not want to fold it. This line is for, we're not going to be really using it much. So do not fold it. <laughs> so this is line one, two, three, and four. All right, we'll be using that as we start drawing this. All right, you're going to draw your word, your letters for your word, uh, in between spaces one and two and two and three. So right in here. And you can, again, write whatever you want. Some of you, actually most of you probably have way better handwriting than me and a way cooler style. So I, I'm just gonna show you a really simple way to make a block letter. These don't have to be block letters. I'm going to be doing the word art. So to make it a block letter, you're just gonna thicken it up. See, way simple, and trust me, I am not great at this, so I think that yours are going to look much better than mine. But it's the technique that I really wanna show you. So figure out what you wanna write, and let's get started. So I'm going to be writing the word art, and I want it to fit right in here. So I'm just gonna draw a line over here, and then a line over here, maybe try to make it a little bit more even. So I want my word to fit in this space and then I have three letters in my word. So I'm just going to divide this space up into three. And then I might just write lightly an A, just my letters. 
So I'm really, really light at this point. And now I'm gonna block them in with some big dark lines. Also make sure they attach to this line and they should attach, uh, like look at this R. Do you see how I attached it? So make sure your letters touch that line because it's important to help it fold out. So A. My T is a little bit Gumby-like, and that's okay. All right, now really quick, I'm just gonna say this, do not cut this line, and don't cut this line, because we need them to attach. These need to be attached to this paper. In fact, I'll erase where you're not supposed to cut. Just, it might make it easier. Let me erase out the middle of my letters. You definitely wanna erase before we start cutting. And before we start folding, and I'm going to erase, let's see, we do need this line. This one, actually, let's keep it. Okay. So I'm just trying to clean up my letters a little bit before I cut and do this next step. All right, let's do this together. This part is very important. We are going to be attaching these letters to this line with straight lines. As straight as you can draw. <laughs> and remember not to cut right here, don't cut right here, and do not cut right there. This is very, very important. <laughs> when I was teaching my students, this is definitely was one of the biggest struggles that they had. And if you do accidentally cut it, just use tape. That's totally fine. All right, now we're ready to cut. So step one is going to be to draw your lines on your paper. Step number two is going to be to put your letters in these two spaces. And step three, I always forget what I'm on. Step three is to bring the letters back to this line. Step four, let's cut it out. Step five, let's fold it. So grab your X-Acto knife and be very careful and we're just gonna cut these letters out. So I'm cutting these connecting pieces first. and then just cut out the letters. If you want to decorate your letters, you need to do it before we cut these out. Okay, so I'm just cutting out the R. Curved lines are a little bit hard for me to cut out. Okay, here's a T. This is my last letter. And then we, when we start folding this, remember that step fold that I showed you in the very beginning. All right, now let's fold this out. So you wanna fold the bottom part of your letters out, so forward. I'm just kind of pulling them forward and folding them. And then this top line, this top line this time, we want to fold out. And there should still be a line there because we drew a line there with our ruler. The hardest one is for me on these letters like this. Okay, so we fold the bottom, the top, and then we want to fold this out like a step. Remember, out. Out. And now we're gonna make this back fold. And this is along line number two and we need to make sure we fold it in here as well. So. There it is there. I'm gonna have to turn this so I can see my, it's hard for me to see my lines if my camera's that way. There. And when we fold this all together, if there's anything that's not folded quite right, it will show. There you go. If you're struggling, it's probably because you folded this line or you folded right here. So remember just to pop your letters forward first. And that's it. So you are finished. And uh, you can glue a piece of paper 
behind this if you want. Um, send it to somebody. I would have erased these lines before I started, but remember, technique is what I'm all about here. If you do want to glue it inside of a card, just fold your paper, fold your paper like this, add some glue to the bottom, add some glue to the top, and then smash it closed. I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut off these extra pieces on the side. And there you have your card, art. So you could write a message. You could probably figure out a way to not have this extra space here, but anyway. I hope you have fun with this and I hope you find somebody um, you can give it to if that's what you are making it for. <laughs> and anyway, thank you so much for making this with me today. I've wanted to show you this technique for a while. I think it's really cool to learn, especially if you wanna make your own cards or you're into pop-ups and um, paper sculpture or art. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week. We'll start doing two-point perspective.